Welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get school. I've been getting a lot of questions. There's a bunch of people that have been doing K24 swaps in their cars. And one of the things that's different between the K20 and the K24 is the crank angle sensor. That's the sensor that's down by the uh, crank pulley. And uh, basically there's two different types of, uh, of sensors. Uh, what I have here is I have, in my left hand, I have the RSX sensor, and in my right hand, I have the one for the Accord. If you look at it, you can see there's some differences in the keyways. The keyways are these little ridges along the side that allow the connector to slide down. And because the keyways are different, uh, if your uh, harness doesn't fit the keyway of your crank angle sensor, it's not wired properly. So uh, there's a couple things you can do in order to fix that problem. One of the things you can do is you can uh, uh, change crank angle sensors. Typically, uh, if you go down to a salvage yard, this is what you're gonna find in a CRV. Uh, so you can just go look for a CRV crank angle sensor and pay the price for that. Uh, another thing you can do is you can actually change the connector on your harness. This is the connector for the RSX. Uh, so it fits nicely on the RSX uh, crank angle sensor. But of course, if you try to put it on this one, it doesn't fit so well. Now I know some people just come in here and trim the keyways off, but then you're gonna get a crank angle sensor code because this is actually uh, wired incorrectly. So the way to rewire it is, first off, you pull this little gray piece off that's in the center. This is a lock, by the way. Just kind of pry it up and now that gets you to the individual wires. Uh, getting those out is sometimes a bit of a chore. Uh, I oftentimes will peel this back a little ways in order to get uh, more easily to uh, get more easily to the wires. Let's try and get them out here without actually peeling them back. Let's see that yellow one right there. We'll try that one first. This is a pick tool. Uh, you can use a one millimeter screwdriver for this, but uh, these are pick tools that you can buy on Amazon. Uh, I think it's about 16 bucks for a set of five of them. They work really nicely. But basically you're gonna slide it in along the top of the connector, uh, on the terminal I mean, and once you feel it stop, there's a little plastic tab you're at. And you wanna lift that tab by pushing down and then pull the wire out from the back. So there, we've got it loose. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out just yet. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get to the second one. So once again, I'm gonna slide along the top till I feel that plastic tang. I'm gonna lift it up, then pull. See if I get it loose, did I get it loose? No, I did not. No, yeah, I did. Okay, so I've got two of them loose. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the third one out. Again, I'm gonna slide along the edge here. Feel the tab. Pull it, oops, went right by it. By the way, if you have them under tension, they do not want to unsnap. Okay, we got all three of them out now. Now you see they're all color coded. Now on the RSX harness, the blue wire is in the number one position. By the way, the way you read what it is is you on a female connector, you put the clip up, you start on the left side and read across to the right. So we have a blue wire in the first cavity, we have a brown yellow wire in the second cavity, and we have a yellow black wire in the third cavity. Now when we want to wire in the new connector, and this happens to be one from an Accord, you can see how it's got the keys down below. All right. We're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna start off with the number one position. In cavity one, we're gonna take our yellow black wire. In cavity two, we're gonna take our blue wire. In cavity three, we're gonna have our brown yellow wire. Now we can just clip them all in place, and they are now all the way clipped in, and we put our lock back in. 
We now have a connector that's properly wired and will fit our K24 crank angle sensor. So if you don't have salvage yard convenient to go find these plugs, uh, one thing I can suggest is going to a couple of websites. Uh, my two favorite are Corsa Technic, which uh, has a really wide array of terminals and connectors available. And the other one is a slightly smaller business called CycleTerminal.com. And both of those have uh, this particular type of connector. There will be links down below in the show notes. If you're interested in purchasing the tools I'm using, uh, down below there will be a link to our Amazon affiliate webpage. And if you purchase them, that will actually help support our channel. Well, there you go, guys. You now have a properly wired RSX harness so it can use the K24 crank angle sensor. If you've got a friend doing a uh, K24 swap, perhaps you'd like to share this video with them. Let them know how it's done. And if you're new to the channel, maybe you'd like to subscribe. Anyway, if you've got a suggestion for a quick tip and you want to learn a little bit more about uh, wiring or even anything about Hondas, why don't you leave a suggestion down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, thanks for joining me.